Okay, so I thought I would do um, kind of an update uh, on the Springer. Uh, the last video, um, I finished up the chrome controls on it, but I want to show you uh, everything that's been done in the last week or so. Not much left on this bike. Uh, I have the exhaust and the tank, and that's it. Now this bike can be fired up. I still have to do the front end, but that's I'm not worried about that right now. So, but I'm still, uh, you know, thinking about a project for this winter. And I went to look at a bike uh, yesterday. Well, let me show you what's been done in the last few days. So we get the ignition side up. I got to replace uh, this plug here. That's not the right plug. So this was all put in. Of course, the chrome controls were all done. So let's go over to this side. Got the carburetor on. You know, that's all hooked up. Those lines are all in. Twin cam, uh, chain, uh, the cam chain tensioners were done, release covers done. So a lot of stuff has been done. I think I still have to do the washer on the back of that. And then, uh, you know, like I said, the exhaust and the tank, and we're done. Oh, I got new mirrors uh, for this too. They're coming, they'll be in tomorrow. So we'll get the new mirrors on. That way we can hook these uh, turn signals back up. So, okay. So since the work on this bike... Uh, is coming to a close. I'm already starting to think about uh, this winter, upcoming uh, winter to work, you know, for a project bike to work on. So I'm kind of thinking this year more towards a shovel head. It's a bike that I'd always wanted to do was a shovel head to restore a bike, uh, you know, like that. I've done a pan head, I've done an Evo, I've done a twin cam. So I think the shovel head is the next. Knuckle heads are just out of my price range. Even one that's all beat the crap is just way too expensive for me. So. I did go look at a shovel head last night. This is an 81 FLH, and I'll show you the pictures of it up here. And uh, I'll go over the pictures. I got them on my phone, so I'll just go over the pictures while I'm talking to it. Uh, so I did do, I did decode the VIN on this. This is an FLH 80. And uh, the pictures, I'm gonna say look better than the bike. Uh, now I don't mind the bike being kind of beat up. That's kind of what I'm looking for because I figure to do a shovel, uh, I'm figuring about a year to do it. It took me about two years to do the pan head. I did, you know, I took the motor out of that, took the transmission out, did everything, frame off everything on that bike. So that took me about two years. So I'm looking probably for a year to do a year for a shovel. By the time you locate all the parts and, you know, you try to get it back to original. So this particular bike that I looked at, was far from original uh it just almost nothing on this bike had a, that i'm going to be able to reuse as far as original to factory which is how i like to bring stuff so in this first picture here you can see the motor uh, again the picture looks better than the actual bike uh, there's a lot of paint missing on again the paint is not a big deal because i'm going to have to have the bike repainted anyway to factory colors how it left the factory you know for that particular year 81 uh so if you look at that it doesn't look too bad um, let me go back to the beginning. All right, so here's here's kind of the overall picture of the bike. I'll get a better picture of the side view of it, but again, the the, the pictures look much better than the bike. So uh, we'll go down to the rear end. So the rear end, that fender is actually not, might be correct. It doesn't look correct to me for that year for 81. Uh, the caliper is definitely correct. Shocks, they're not, they didn't have chrome shocks. Battery box looks okay. Oil gauge looks okay. You know, it's got that flame cover down there, on which is not right for that bike. Now, if you look at this top view of the engine, uh, that instrument panel is not correct. It's actually plastic, so I'm not sure where they got that from. And you can see the wiring on the handlebars. They just kind of wrap the electrical tape around it, so it should be, you know, this is going to need a whole new wiring harness. Turn signals, of course, are not correct. Uh, the switches are correct for that year and it looks like the gauge is not correct either that looks like an aftermarket gauge of course the gas caps are not correct so we'll go to the next one on this side uh, it does have the chain guard but again it was not, the chain guard was not chrome I believe it was black for that year same thing with the primary cover uh, inspection cover that was not that's just a plain cover the oil tank does look correct uh, for that year although I'm not positive that that Harley Davidson emblem was on it but it looks correct uh, for that year so we'll go on to the 
Now the front end is probably the most correct out of the whole bike. Uh, it did have a, they did come with mag wheels or spoked wheels. The caliper looks correct. Uh, rotor, you know, the fork legs and everything look correct. So the front end is really the most correct part of the bike. Seat, of course, is not correct for that year. Neither is that fuel filter. Uh, the motor is in really rough shape. I mean, it's, if I can get a better picture of the motor here. Yeah, you can see how it's just missing a lot of paint. Luckily, it's not missing any cooling fins. Uh, I know when I did the pan head, it was missing some cooling fins. And when I took it down to the shop to have the cylinders done, they sent it out to a guy that did aluminum welding. And he did a fantastic job. You couldn't even tell that they put fins on there. So uh, I don't believe that petcock is correct either. But, you know, the heel-toe shifter is correct, and some of that stuff, the voltage regulator down there is correct. Uh, this has a cooler on the front, and I don't remember 81s having a, a transmission cooler. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Let me find this picture. You can see it right in the corner there, right in front of the down tube, the, uh, right in front of the frame there it's to the left. I don't think I got a really good picture of it, but... Again, here's some more pictures of the motor, uh, you know, missing paint. And he told me, I, now I didn't listen to the bike. Uh, I didn't have him start it. And he said he started it, but it was pouring out fuel from the overflow, which means, and he told me he hasn't run this bike in a couple of years. He said, actually, I don't know where he had it stored at, but he said the mice had built the nest underneath the seat. So I'm not sure where he stored this bike. He does have a garage, but I don't know if it's heated or not. Uh, that rear caliper looks correct. Of course, those flames on there are not correct on there, but uh, that's, you know, minor stuff. So we'll look at the other part of the engine. It does have an SNS carb on it, which is, again, is not correct for that year. Um, so I, I don't know. I'm debating upon this bike. I, I, I was really looking for a bike that I could ride all summer. Um, I don't know if that's possible with this bike. It needs a new front tire. He told me the front rotor's warped and it does need new brakes, front brakes. So now you're looking at probably $500 to get it on the road to make it run. And I don't even know how well it runs. I mean, it looks like it's leaking oil, but um, who knows, you know, how it... I just, I just don't want to get stranded on the side of the road. So uh, I don't know that I'm going to get this bike. He wants a little bit too much money, in my opinion, for it. I did start pricing out parts. Uh, paint alone for this bike is going to run anywhere from four to five thousand. Uh, so I don't know. I, I mean, I, I have to. When I look at doing something like this, I have to price the parts. Is this bike going to be worth the money after I put the parts in? Meaning, once I do all the parts, I don't really consider labor my labor as into the price because this is just kind of a hobby thing for me. So. I don't really figure my labor in doing anything, but you figure four grand for paint. Uh, I believe this bike came with bags, with hard bags. Some of the FLHs in 81 didn't. Uh, the badges on the tank are not correct because they should say, they should just say AMF Harley Davidson on it. They're just a flat badge. Uh, of course, the SNS air cleaner is not correct, and the air cleaner for that bike is going to be difficult to find. It's, it's a big rectangular type air cleaner, so it's going to be hard to find that air cleaner. So I'm not positive that uh, this is something that I'm that I'm going to do. I, like I said, I priced out the parts. And by the time I buy the parts, what I'm putting into the bike and the cost of the bike is actually going to exceed the value when I'm done. So I don't know if it's such a smart move to even invest money in this thing because, like I said, basically nothing on this bike is reusable as far as I want to bring this back to factory and how it left the factory. I am going to contact Harley Records Division uh, I did that with my pan head. Uh, they had a document of that, that 65. Uh, they only had one document because they told me that when AMF took over the company, they destroyed all the previous records. So there wasn't really a whole lot of records. So I don't know. I'm going to look at another bike tomorrow. I'm not, it's not a shovel head. It's an Evo. It's an 89 uh, FLHT. Uh, so it's a little bit newer bike. It's a full dresser. It's an Evo. Not really what I'm looking for, but the price is right on it. So, all right, so that's going to wrap it up for this video. So I thought I'd just do a quick one and an update. Uh, I'm in no hurry to buy a bike for this winter. I've already got, you know, a couple of bikes to ride for the summer, so I'm really not in any hurry. So I might just tell these people, look, for the time being, I'm just going to put a hold on it. If you have this bike in November or October, maybe I'll revisit it if they want to drop the price on it. 
It's been advertised for six weeks now, and no, I was the first person to actually even go down and look at this bike. Nobody's even wanted to look at it. They've made offers on the phone, like trading a couple ATVs for it, but nobody's actually taken the time to go down and look at this bike. Again, don't forget to subscribe. Leave me some comments. What do you think? Just you know, leave me some comments below. What do you think about it? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.